This is the first law of motion. An object in motion stays in motion until acted upon by an outside force. And an object at rest stays at rest unless acted by an outside force. Here is the example. The ball was hit and moved, so it was at rest, and then it became in motion And when it got acted upon by an outside force. The second law states that the acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables, the net force of acting upon the object and mass of the object. For every action, there is an equality, equal, and opposite reaction. The statement means that every interaction, there is a pair of forces acting on the two interacting objects. The size of the forces on the first object equals the size of the force on the second object. Okay, so Josie's walking, and as she's walking, her feet are pushing down on the floor as the floor is pushing up on her feet. <laughs> and her shoe's untied. Okay, so um, basically, when your feet are pushing down on the floor and the floor's crawling back up on you, um, you're, you won't fall through the floor. So, you know, like, reason. Sigmund was born on January 4th, 1643. He was born in the Hamlet of Wolfsrow, Lincolnshire, England. <laughs> his father was a prosperous farmer, and his father died three months before Isaac was born. And his mother's name was Hannah Ayskoff Newton. She remarried a minister named Barnabas, the Barnabas Smith. Okay. <laughs> Went to King's School in Grantham. He worked in a work study program at Trinity College. He went to Cambridge during the Scientific Revolution. Plague sent him home where he continued private studies. And he went back to Trinity College once he got better.